Shalom Chavrin. Uh, friends, those of you that have been writing me uh, in response to the video that I did asking my Jewish brothers and sisters to write me and also to my Jewish brothers and sisters that have written, the response has been overwhelming. And I am thankful that you have taken the time to write. Many of you I've never heard from, never knew that you were even listening. And uh, we are, I am going to write you. You'll be getting an email later today uh, from us here at uh, Israeli News Live uh, speaking to you directly. And what we are trying to do and what we need to do to counterreact what is happening in Israel, even as I'm speaking. And to my Christian brothers and sisters, you will be made aware of these things as well as soon as I am permitted to do so. And when I say permitted, uh, there are some things that have been shared with me that I have been asked not to make public as of yet. And that will come. That is coming. So please just bear with me. Um, your prayers for the Jewish people and for what's happening to our people in Israel and the, the, the evils, you, you pretty much have an idea already because I've shared with you so much about what Rome is doing in Israel and it's only getting worse. I can say that much to you now. It's only getting worse. That it's, it's kind of like a family issue. We have a family issue and we need our friends to pray for us as well that God will give us the strength and the wisdom and how to deal with this. And we must come together as a Jewish people as well to reach our own family members about what is going on in Israel and what is happening and how the evils that are working in behind the scene to take over our country. This is what we're dealing with. And that's as much as I can say at this time. And I, and I just trust that you guys can, you, you, your heart and your love for us is tremendous and that you will understand, and my Jewish brothers and sisters that have written in understand, I will be writing you as well. And uh, again, I can only share what I'm able to thus far, but I will speak to you from my heart what we need to do as a Jewish people in reaching our own family members, whether they believe in Yeshua or not, we must reach them and we must come together and we must speak about what is going on so that we can shake heaven ourselves, so that we can get the attention of Mashiach, that he will hear our prayers. That's as much as I can say at this point here. Do bear with me. I'll be in touch with you uh, later. I do want to share with the Christian brothers and sisters that are, that are writing in, that, have, that, are, that, are, that love the children of Israel, to see your heart and to see this is so moving in my own heart as well. And... You're, one thing I will say to you, because I had one, uh, I forget, as a brother or sister wrote me and said, brother, you know, don't, don't leave us out. You have Yeshua as your Messiah. You've not been left out at all. You've not been left out. But we're in a spiritual battle. And if you reveal to Satan, if you, if you speak something and he can cut you off, He'll cut you off. The time is drawing nigh where God is going to do something for the children of Israel. It's drawing nigh. So I just ask you to be in prayer with us and stand with Israel. As we have the place on Facebook, unconditionally we stand with Israel. Uh, I encourage you to go be a, join up with us there in this little group there. Unconditionally, we stand with Israel. And, uh, and I don't say that to, to say that the evils that we do, that's not the point there. What we talk about is the Israel, the true Israel of God, the redeemed, the remnant of Israel. Anyway, shalom, God bless you. Thank you for bearing with us here. And as we're able to put these things out publicly, we will do so. And... Uh, and pray for Israel, pray for the things that are going on. God bless you, we love you, and thank you, Sean. Sure.